Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Uh, just another day in quarantine over here. Uh, we're doing our best. We hope you are too. Everybody's staying safe and inside their own homes. Uh, so today, because we have a little bit of time, uh, we're doing another application. And what we're doing is an ATSC uh, to your TV application. So it's ATSC over coax. What we did was we put an ATSC antenna outside, very similar to this guy over here. If you can remember from the good old days, rabbit ears. Well, nobody uses rabbit ears anymore, at least generally speaking. Uh, now you get cool digital uh, over the air antennas, uh, which are pretty good. Uh, they provide you with a lot of channels. Over here, we're pulling up some basic channels we have from uh, the local Los Angeles market. Uh, we're about 35, 40 miles away from downtown, so we're not picking up all the programs we wanted, but we do have quite a bit of channels to choose from. Um, so again, you know, we're just playing the local channels right now. And what we did is we added in the Thunder 4 HD modulator. Comes in this little snazzy box. It's pretty small. As you can see, the dimensions are pretty, pretty narrow. Um, and this box will allow you to introduce four HDMI sources uh, in either QAM, in this case, ATSC over the air. We're modulating four HDMI sources on four different channels. And as you can see here, you got our four sources on the bottom. Uh, this is a DVD player. We got uh, a camera outside, uh, a Roku, an Amazon. The RFN is actually the antenna we have outside. So this is actually acting as a throughput um, or a combiner, if you will. So we're taking the antenna, adding in our four channels, and the output from this is actually going to your generic RF splitter and it's getting split to two TVs. So again, if you just disconnect your coax cable from the splitter, you're gonna lose your TV. And you put it back in and your TV will come back. So no magic here. This is a general setup. You can find it in any bar, hotel, restaurant, uh, or even your own house. And that's what we're trying to demonstrate here. So what you can do is you can add in, let's say a DVD player, and you, you can run it through your entire house's coaxial cable system that's already there. Uh, so what we need to do first is set this unit up for channels that are not in the LA broadcast. So generally what you're gonna to wanna to do is pick channels higher up in the frequency range. So since you know these channels in the LA broadcast can go up to usually 20, 30, 40, maybe even, uh, what we did was we went up really high and put the new channels up in the 60s, uh, for example, if I can find another one here. So here's another channel, another local channel that you can watch uh, over the air antenna again. So the DVD player is the first source. We put that on channel 66. And if you go here, I believe the DVD we're playing, a uh, very old movie, I believe it's called Terminal Velocity. I think Charlie Sheen is in this among other people. So anyway, again, perfect HD resolution coming from the DVD player combined with the antenna through the modulator and now being output. So again, if you go to this TV now and I can put this TV on the next channel that we're modulating, which is 67. This should be a pool view. And as you can see over here, we're actually using an HD bit wireless transmission system. So HDMI wirelessly set up. The receiver is over here in front of this TV. This is going into input two. And again, now you can see it on channel 67. Now we obviously have this set up by the pool. Uh, you know, that's fine. But generally a lot of people want to use this for as a security apparatus. You can put a camera by your front door. If the doorbell rings, uh, you can just change your TV to channel 67 without getting off your couch. You can see who's at your front door. So you can answer it or you don't have to. That's completely up to you. We're just showing you a nice little option there. So going back to this, uh, channel 68, we have set up on the third input, which I believe the Roku is playing some global news station. And of course, right now, politics uh, and news is dominating uh, most of the channels out there since we're in the midst of a pandemic. And again, if you go up to channel 69, this is gonna be your last source, which is the Amazon Fire Stick. And this is playing, I believe we selected some sniper show off of YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so again, probably a little bit old, uh, but for what we require is doing tremendously well. And again, all these programs are running through a modulation system that's being combined with a local air antenna. So again, what that means is you can watch your HDMI sources all over your house in any bedroom that's connected to the same coax system uh, in full HD, and you don't need to have a DVD player in every room. You can just have one set up and you can distribute that signal to every room using your existing coax system. Again, this is the Thunder 4. 
uh, ready and available. You can give us a call if you have any questions or concerns about your application or project. 1-800-521-THOR. That's 8467. Uh, you can check us out online, thorbroadcast.com. And again, if you guys have any questions, concerns, want to reach out to us uh, or talk to us, we have single channel models available as well. Uh, very easy, very small. You guys can fit these anywhere. You can even put them behind the TV. If you just have a single HDMI source you want to play throughout your house. Uh, and again, this is a very simple setup, but I think it's important to note that you guys can do really cool things with some basic equipment and using existing CATV options like over the air that you can pull from whichever market you live in. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.